Hello, welcome to Word 52. I'm Pastor Tim, and I want to share a verse of Scripture with you today. Our verse this week comes from Romans chapter 12 and verse 1, which is one of my favorite passages in the entire New Testament. And the Apostle Paul says, Therefore I urge you, brothers and sisters, in view of God's mercy, to offer your bodies as a living sacrifice, holy and pleasing to God, this is your true and proper worship. I remember that I was in college. I received a scholarship from a group of Christians in a small local church in Athens, Georgia. They wanted to do something to help further the gospel and to invest in a young man who was going into the ministry. And I was able to receive that scholarship. But I'll never forget that day when the dean of the School of Christian Ministries came to me and he said, these people gave out of their resources and their need. Really make sure that you send them a note of appreciation. And so I did that. It was something that I learned very early on, and that is this. Because we've been blessed, we need to be people who are grateful. And so he was teaching me the importance of gratitude. Now, in this passage of Scripture, that begins with the word therefore. And so we've got to look before this passage and see what it's there for. And we understand that Paul is talking about all of the awesome things that God has done for us. And so he says, therefore, in view of the good things God has done for us, His mercy, let's offer ourselves as a living sacrifice to God. God has done so much for us. Jesus has given His life for us, blessed us abundantly. And we, in return, as a way of saying we love you and thank you and we're so indebted to you, Lord, we offer ourselves in surrender to you. Not just our words, not just our thoughts, but our entire being. That means we give all of ourselves as a living sacrifice unto the Lord. Now, we can't earn the favor of God. We can't do anything to earn our salvation. But out of appreciation, we do honor Him. And so therefore, the Bible says, in view of God's mercy, offer your bodies a living sacrifice, holy and pleasing to God. This is your true and proper worship. When we gather on Sundays, we offer praise to God. But even during the course of the week, when we live, our speech, our thoughts, our actions, they're all to glorify the Lord because we have received mercy and grace and we didn't deserve it. Therefore, offer yourselves to God. That's true worship. That's true appreciation for His greatness. That's Word 52. And I'm Pastor Tim and I hope you have a fantastic week. Make sure you glorify God in all you say and do. Have a great week. We'll see you next week.